Thank you for coming to be at Willis this weekend. Thanks for uh, Henry for having Zachary and I over here uh, for the week. This is my youngest son, my baby boy, that will be having me. <laughs> uh, later on, I will shoot a bow that I designed uh, originally for Zachary to build called the Zemo. Uh, but first, I'll start out shooting one that I designed for the Fred Bear Boat Hunting Company. This is a Patriot boat, uh, pulling 72 pounds at 28 inches of, of draw. I have a lot of people ask me why I shoot the old ugly long boat rather than the prettier recurve style boat. What you have to understand is I am first and foremost a hunter. This is what got me into bow hunting years and years ago was the ability or the opportun opportunity to hunt whitetail deer. So the reason I shoot the long bow is that I had much rather be sitting around the campfire eating venison as talking about how pretty my bow is. Ha 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 ha. Longbows are the most forgiving style of bow you can shoot. What does that mean? And how does it do it? What it means is the longbow will allow me to make a mistake and still hit the target. How it does it is the interesting part. You can take any longbow in the strong position and try to move that limb tip from side to side. You'll notice you cannot move the tip of a longbow laterally. Versus the recurve style bow, you can push the tip so far, you would push the string out of the string group. So it's important to remember if you shoot a recurve style bow, you cannot torque the string. You must pull the string back in line with the center of the limb. If you torque the string, the arrow will shoot left or right, pretty much anywhere except into the target. Long bows, on the other hand, don't care. You can torque the string on the long bow all you want. Just hold the bow on target. The limb will force the uh, string to fire down the center, sending the arrow to the target. So the first few shots are not real spectacular trick shots. These shots are simply designed to show you that you can indeed torque the string of a long bow and still put the arrow in the target. The first shot is a shot that I used when I was a very young man. But Three years ago, we <laughs> played my very first whitetail deer in my home state of Alabama. I had to get down on one knee and shoot up under an obstruction in order to get to the deer. A very, very simple shot, but a shot that could be difficult with a different style of pup. But now we're going to make it harder. Again, torquing the string, to this time torquing and pinching the knot, torquing the string by shooting the bow upside down. We'll make it harder. This time, torquing both the bow and the string holding the bolt upside down and over my shoulder.
Then it will travel on to the target, and with the second balloon, that Zachary will hold in his teeth. <laughs>
about using the back quiver versus a side quiver or a boat quiver. It's really a matter of preference, but you can draw the second arrow from the back quiver much quicker than you can from a hip or a boat quiver because after you release, your hand comes back and you're only here for the next arrow. So we're going to do a little bit of speed shooting. Shot this into cement without damaging the shaft. 
It's a very, very tough shack. Like I told Henry, I, the only problem I see with it is once we sell a customer some of these, it's going to be a long time before we sell them anymore. <laughs>
that's the same feeling I get every time that big deer starts walking toward me. <laughs> Pretty much the same reaction too. Except I only don't cuss like that. <laughs> Okay, this is for real. <laughs> not mad at me, are you, Tom? You are? <laughs> okay, we'll do it for real.